There we go. <laughs> On the topic of the shooting. Yes. 8chan. Yes. 8chan. Um, obviously, they were getting singled out because the manifesto from one of the shooters was there. Apparently, he was a member. Now, that was taken as, as written. But um, there was a statement. The owner of 8chan, um, Jim Watkins, who I believe also owns a large hog farm um, somewhere in the Far East. They're always in the Far East. Um, he's unequivocally stated that the manifesto, which was said to have been posted by the El Paso Walmart shooter, it's now the Walmart shooter, uh, on his website was not actually posted by the killer. Um, apparently, uh, Watkins, who is an army veteran, for some reason this, this, this article needs to tell me, uh, he asserted that the shooter actually posted on Instagram prior to the attack, which is where we do put statements. That's um, where I hide all my worst thoughts. Uh, and whoever uploaded the manifesto to 8chan was not the person who committed the heinous act. Um, so he says that's clear and law enforcement are made aware of this. Um, now it could be that that's true because he'll know the IPs of whoever's uploading and y you know if it's a tall proxy so you can go and check. Yeah. You can and it check could easily validity. just be a leftist that's trying to burn, the, bury the place, you know. It could be anything. Like it. It, it could be that. It could just be a user that found it on Instagram and just shared it on HN for the lulls. Um, but regardless, they've cop for it because there was the Christchurch thing and it's basically too many connections. Um, and it, it is. And I, I've not spent much time there. I don't dig the Chan thing. I don't like the way. I it doesn't. I don't. It's not for me. No, 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 no. Um, I mean, I've not got a problem with it existing, but yeah, it's never really. I've been on it a couple of times, but only when people are doing like ask me anything, and that's where they're doing it. So it's like, well, that's where I'm going then, you know. But I thought yeah, they I'm... did those on Reddit, but um. So what happened was Cloudflare suddenly had an attack of conscience. And decided they weren't going to uh, represent yeah. HN. Um, Aphid Lip, I believe that guy left HN a couple of years ago and now he speaks out against them because he didn't like the way it went. Um, so, Cloudflare, who. There's allegations out there that when people have complained to Cloudflare, Cloudflare have just passed all their details onto the websites they're complaining against. Um. I don't know where the data protection thing comes into that. But anyway, so Cloudflare said, we're not going to host you anymore. Despite saying yeah. we wouldn't choose, you're gone. You're gone. Out you go. Um, which is a you know, problem, but that's what happened to the Daily Stormer and some others. Yeah. Now, the Daily Stormer went to a DDoS protection provider called BitMitigate. And... Uh, they did quite well there for a while, you know. Bit mitigate said, "No, we're not. We're not going to back down. We're not going to do it." So, H Chan put a post out saying, "Look, you know, we're, we're coming back as soon as the DNS rep records are propagated. We're with these news guys." Didn't last long um, because Voxility, which is a large company that gives out, you know, um, infrastructure. To online companies decided they were going to remove bit mitigates uh, capability of existing fucking ridiculous so so yeah basically 8chan was shit can by cloudflare went to bit mitigate bit mitigate said we're not shit can in um 8chan so voxility shit can bit mitigate who are now i imagine fairly well screwed uh, it's apparently Voxility is an infrastructure as a service provider. We provide services to ISPs and hosting resellers, and as a telco, we do not have access to websites hosted by customers of our customers. We cannot deal with them directly. We are now removing the reseller from the network. So bit mitigate, pulled down. So that that really fucked up. Weird ginger guy that runs the Daily Stormer can't be happy. Andrew, yeah, this... and I can't remember his bleeding name, but he, he won't be happy at all. But this is how it's going now. Deplatforming is escalating dramatically. It's, it's fucking stupid, man. It's fucking stupid. And I'll tell you why. One very, very good reason, right? 
say people are flocking to 8chan to post extremist stuff, which they are, you know, people get banned from everywhere else. That's where they go to. And, you know, the vast majority of them are shit posters just having a laugh. Mm. But then there's a few of them in there that really are like, no, nah, I think we should kill all black people and all that bollocks. But that's where the security services, that's where the police go. That's where the FBI goes to actually keep an eye on these people <laughs> and collect intelligence on them shit and find posters. out what they're doing. If you're just going to keep fucking banning places and closing it down, you're just making it harder to actually... Because they're not going to stop existing. They're, they're just going to go somewhere else, you know, and be less vocal about it. Um, and that's what makes me angry about it, really. Places are so, People are so quick to virtue signal and like, oh, well, let's ban it. And it's the same problem that you get every time with the far left. They think oh, Jesus, the, the leftists were all over Twitter. They started up a hashtag... Yeah, yeah, but because keep they on, think... Keep on the pressure, get rid of this, get rid of that. Yeah, but they, they, they think that once you ban one of these things from the internet, you can't stop it. it those people aren't going to cease to exist, and those forums aren't going to cease to exist. They'll just make a new one and a new one. And not only that, things are becoming decentralised now. You know, there's already that social media. Gab runs by that... What's that new system called where it's so decentralised that it cannot be blocked, it cannot be taken down. And that's all that's going to happen. People will adapt and adjust. They're better off being on 8chan. Mm. If that's the place to go to get killers manifestos, then good. Let's just keep it that way. Let's keep the, you know, because there'll be people at the FBI whose job it is to just sit on that sh piece of shit website all day long, you know, and why not? <laughs> um, I don't know. It, it annoys me that they think, we'll ban it. That'll, it doesn't solve anything. It just radicalizes further. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I, I just had to temporarily, just for a while, block Nuke Buzzard Kill because he's just been a whiny pain in the ass and he's ruining chat for everybody else because he's a fucking bell end. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I agree. You know, I, what's happening now is terrifying because entire sites are being removed. It's not just a case of, you know, um, people can run their own sites, make their own rules, which is how it should be, you know. If um, you know if you want to run a Disney website, you want to keep it family friendly. You should be allowed to enforce your rules. If you want to run a Republican website and not have Democrats before, uh, you know, enforce your rules, a Democrat and not have Republicans enforce your rules, that's fine. It gets a bit shady ground when you're the size of Twitter and Facebook, I suppose. Um, well, let people no, have the rules, but banning entire sites because we don't like them, yeah, shit canning people's real lives. The, the problem is, if Twitter was honest about, like, right, this is a conservative position, therefore you're not allowed to say it. If they were honest and straight with that, you couldn't argue with that. But they're not. They, they, they're they all about conversation, and they say specifically free speech. This is where you come to discuss things. And so I think a, a site of any size, it doesn't matter as long as the rules are clear. Um, but I think part of the issue here is... is you know, they, 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 all right, you ban 8chan, and they're on 8chan because they couldn't go on 4chan. They're on 4chan because they couldn't go on Twitter, or they couldn't go on Reddit anymore. They got banned from that for what they were saying. But then that just that just goes back then to the workplace, to um, friendship groups, to school. Oh, you can't talk about this in school. You're not allowed to have these. But, but, but back when it was in school, it was an honest question, and it was an honest you know, uh, misunderstanding of the world. And, you know, if, if you do look at something like um, statistic, gun crime statistics ba on skin colour, obviously in the States there's a hell of a lot more black people doing it than anyone else. Now, if you can't have an honest conversation about that and ask that without being banned and destroyed and, like, get the fuck out, you racist, that's how you end up on 8chan. And if you, don't, if you don't get an answer from your tutor or from your friends or from Twitter or from Reddit and the only place you're going to get an answer is 8chan, then you've just got a load of shit posters, mm. and it's 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 like that AI that they released, and within twenty four hours it was a it was a Nazi, <laughs> you know, a Nazi whore. Um, it's like that, you know. Humans aren't much better, and that's what's happening. One thing, Robert Morgan, there in uh, chat, has said the First Amendment and free speech is under blatant, direct, sustained assault. So the government and media will be in total control of what we know, what we speak, and what we say. And if they disarm us, well, here's the thing. When it comes to the internet, and that's all I'm discussing here now about disarming you, because uh, to be fair, 90% of the people that say, you know, I need my guns to protect me against the government, would we'll just shit the pants and hand them over anyway. People are people. So let's stay away from that one. I'm not saying you're not. You could be 
fucking, for all I know, you're like John J. Rambo. I don't know you. But with the internet, what we're facing here is everyone is culpable in destroying freedom on the internet. Those on the left and those on the right with our attitudes, our behavior, the things we say, the things we do. People refuse to play the game. Everyone's a free speech absolutionist provided they don't have the responsibility of providing that platform. They demand it of everyone else and fuck them when they end up going down in flames. If you're going to take the stance that net neutrality is a communist idea and bad for the nation, you're helping destroy freedom of speech on the internet. That's the way it works. We're all being played. We are all being fucking played by whoever it is we support. You know, the internet was fucking amazing until everyone got fucking stupid and lazy and refused to even build their own home pages anymore because they could just set up a page on Facebook or Twitter and become nothing more than a fucking statistic, just, just cattle. And we've all done it. I count myself as that person. It, it, it's really useful and easy and wonderful. YouTube with a monetization system that was never going to last. Yeah, we, we've just all been corralled. We've been penned in these great big places. Now all we can do is whine that they won't let us do what we want. And no one will play the game. Everyone sits around demanding shit and doing nothing. Um, we are where we are. And uh, if you don't like it now, you're going to hate it next year.